Okay, so recently there have been many articles uh, written about Windows 10 running on the Pi 4. It is early days and uh, currently runs on one gig of RAM. Uh, even so, Marsan on Twitter reports that it's already running much better than the previous build running on the Pi 3. He was the one who ported it over to the Pi 3 previously. Uh, I looked into trying it for a video, but it has many steps and it isn't fully explained. Also, it looks like you need a Pi 3 involved in some of the setup and I don't have a Pi 3 to try it. Uh, the build he used was uh, 17134. It's an older version of Windows 10 on ARM from 2018. So x86 uh, is emulated with Windows for ARM. So many programs and games should run, but speed will likely be a big disadvantage. Uh, so it's not going to be the sort of thing you'd use as your main operating system, certainly at the moment. And it's unlikely to, I guess, get great performance on the Pi uh, because the reason a lot of Linux distros run so well and Raspbian runs so well is it is because they're such light operating systems. But we'll see. Uh, it's it, I just like to try these things. I like to see different things that are coming along. So there's links to the articles uh, in the description if you fancy a challenge. Uh, and if you manage to find a download link, I would be very interested uh, just to try it and to do a video on it. Uh, so what am I doing at the moment? What What's this you're looking at? Well, it's not a Windows computer, uh, even though a lot of this looks very Windows. And if I click on the E, the web browser comes up, but you can see uh, Edge turns into Firefox. Uh, and this is because this is uh, Kali Linux. Uh, and this is version 2020.1, which has only just come out. Uh, it's very new. And so I thought I'd install it. I've done a previous video on it, and, it, and it's really interesting. I, and they, they say that they've improved the Windows side of it. So uh, the look of it looks even more like Windows 10. So if you do want to run something that looks like Windows 10, uh, and you want it to have decent performance and a decent web browser and everything, then maybe this is somewhere you want to look. Yeah, that does look very good, actually. Uh, so all of the little icons and things like that are really, really impressive. I suppose while I'm here, I need to check YouTube. I, I don't know. They didn't mention anything about the browser being changed or anything like that, but let's, let's give it a try anyway. don't know why it's come up in that very narrow view there. So let's try something with a bit of movement. Let's just try anything on here and I'll switch it into, well, let's go full screen first of all. So the audio is working through my TV. I think the audio was a bit sketchy before. Still doing a bit of tearing it looks like. So let's skip past that advert. Into, or it's already it's already doing it a bit at 480. I got a little bit of crackle there. All right, guys. For today's video, we have the pickup truck ramp. We're gonna be bringing around the trailer yard and coming up with cool ideas to ride on it. There's no, <laughs> no video. Okay, so YouTube performance uh, certainly at 1080 isn't isn't yeah, decent. I've only just the installed this. Uh, on it. Obviously, this it might need several restarts to make it better. Um, but I just I wanted to this talk about the Windows 10 and to say that I have been looking at it, uh, but it just looked like right at now. this stage it probably tonight. wasn't worth it for me. Uh, even though I, was, I I would try it if someone gave me a link, I would definitely have a look at it. But um, but yeah, it's it's not going to run great at the moment. So I thought I'd announce two things at once. So Kelly Linux 2020, if you want to try this. Uh, if you look at my previous video, it shows you exactly how to install it and run it, um, and uh, you're just looking for the latest version. All right, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.